Hey, welcome to another video from the Outdoor Analyst. Hey, today I've got a fun one for you. And I keep on kind of getting some uh, questions about what the heck are you doing with all these folding knives lately? You know, normally I'm kind of a fixed blade guy. And to be honest with you, I've just been going on a journey over the past several years and kind of been putting it on YouTube. And now that I've kind of figured out almost exactly what I like, I've kind of moved over to folders a little bit more just because, you know, I always carry a folder every single day. One of my favorite folders has been a Benchmade bug out for the longest time. I was on the bandwagon as soon as this knife came out. Um, you know, I knew about it way ahead of time. We were at SHOT Show and I couldn't wait till they released this thing. And it was pretty incredible at the time to have such a lightweight knife with such a big blade. Now, granted, Spyderco has been doing cool stuff like that. And there's tons of other options now. You have the Hogue Deca and you've got a TRM with either the Atom or the Neutron kind of doing the same thing. Um, and in just different ways, uh, liner lock versus, you know, the, the good old axis lock. But... As you can see, I've got some naked bug out scales, and I have always thought the coolest part of the bug out was how light it is. And I've always given it the, the benefit of the doubt, even though I don't like how bendy these scales are. These scales are super flexible on the bug out. But because it was so lightweight, I always carried it with me, didn't really care, the action was great. And now I've just decided to go for the upgrade because I'm on a crazy journey of folders to see what's best for me, and I usually so far, I've, as I'm looking at my collection, it's a mix of like super practical and tactical and then just ridiculously high end. Like I want to see the best of what precision can do. Um, so where am I at with the bug out? I don't know. Kind of just fancy and unnecessary. I got some new scales. Um, I'm just going to show them. Old school bug out. You can see it's been beat to death. Look at those studs. Uh, this knife has been resharpened a ton of times. I kind of cleaned it up lately. Uh, so yeah, it's got a lot of the tape and junk off of it. Uh, but I picked up some Star Wars scales, and these things are fantastic. Um, I just have been a huge fan of trying to find an upgrade in titanium. And then when I saw that there were some uh, kind of etched out, and they're not really even etched, they're just kind of lasered on there. Uh, yeah, just some cool Star Wars scales. Ah. Uh, absolutely love it. X-Wing, Stormtroopers, Death Star, and then it does take that story over to this side. We have the Death Star kind of there. A little bit of the X-Wing wing on there. Ah, uh, and then Vader over here, and then my beat-up pocket clip. <laughs> I just love it. I just absolutely love it. It did add some weight to the knife, and it took me a while to install these. Um, not the easiest thing to get the axis lock back, especially these tiny, tiny little T6 screws. Um, man, getting this thing back with an action, um, yeah, it, it took me a while. Let's, let's say 20 minutes, 30 minutes easy uh, just to find a good action on there. But I will say these are Met and Boss scales, and I've had some huge issues with that company. Uh, just actually being really shady online, uh, which is not cool, but I have enjoyed these. Their hinderer scales do not work for me at all, but their bug out ones here actually fit well. They look okay. They're not actually, I feel like, as vivid as the ones they were showing, but either way, it's still cool. I still enjoy this knife. It adds a lot to the weight. This adds easily another ounce or so, making it not the lightest weight uh, knife in my collection, but it makes it feel way more premium. You don't have that ridiculous flex. And also, unlike the Neutron, the, the, the liners on this thing, well, there isn't really much in that, in that way, but it doesn't flex. Um, doesn't bend you're not gonna I didn't bend this knife putting it back together which is really really cool so hey upgrade your bug out upgrade your stuff this is kind of new to me upgrading knives usually I just kind of go in and buy something really on the next level to kind of get the next level feel instead of upgrading but um, yeah this is awesome this was a really nice upgrade adding some titanium to the bug out Added, adds just a little bit to the weight, but it's still enough to be ultra lightweight that in and basically basketball shorts or athletic shorts, you don't you don't even know this is in your pocket still, which is a win to me, super win. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't be afraid of the axis lock. There was really nothing too crazy. Um, Metal Complex actually has some really good videos. I think that's who I did. Um, I just I definitely used his for the hinder. I think for the bug out too. Maybe another one for the bug out, but. It's a simple knife, actually, to take apart, and you just do it 
kind of step by step one side then the other side and then match it all together and basically kind of like an, <clears throat> an AR lower <laughs> for the for the trigger pin you just put something in there uh, to stay in there and uh, push it all through and it works really really well so yeah super cool I love this little upgrade this has been a fun project when I was <laughs> had some free time this week amazingly 30 minutes is a lot of free time for, for me oh, it's crazy uh, life is getting wild but super cool i love it it's it's an awesome upgrade not that i don't think this is cool the frn still gives you one of the lightest best blades out there for the size and i really do like the action of a good broken and axis lock hard to beat so i have nothing against the frn but it is flimsy it does feel cheap this feels premium now. It also has a premium price tag. I almost went and just bought like a an M4 version with a, uh, with a, with the aluminum handles, but then I thought ah, I could just get titanium. And honestly, I really like my bug out. I don't need a second bug out. I just kind of want to upgrade this one. So I think that's a fun way to do it, and and cheaper than buying a new. Gosh, goodness gracious, Benchmade knife these days. I'm literally in shock over their price jump on stuff. They just put a $600 bailout out that has not magna cut and just regular flat titanium scales. I, <laughs> I don't even know what they're thinking. But anyway, upgrading an old one or even find a used one. Heck, I have I, no problem on the used knife market. Most people don't use their knives. And as long as you can sharpen uh, and mess with uh, you know, the internals just a little bit, you don't have to be that handy. Um, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, anyway, that was a fun little project. Uh, I highly suggest it. I like titanium on here, and if you like Star Wars, man, this is just a really fun knife to uh, watch for Ahsoka. I have with you, that's the Ahsoka knife at this point. Uh, and in the future, yeah, whatever else they come out with, hopefully they don't screw the whole, oh, screw over everything Star Wars stands for. They're already doing a good job. Thanks, Disney. But anyway, that might have just got me banned from most of YouTube. Anyway, cool Star Wars knife. Give her an upgrade. And yeah, catch you on the next one. Peace.